Yeah, but what's that phylum kingdom species name for it? Oh, no idea. It's a bromeliad. There we go. Puts it in the pineapple category. <laughs> because it's not a moss, it's not a fungus, it's not a lichen, it's not a parasite, it's not even attached. It's hanging up there by friction. If you threw yarn up in the tree and it got hung up, that'd be the same way the moss is up there. Piece breaks off, blows on the wind, gets hung up on a new branch, starts growing, living off of sunlight, moisture, and dust. Doesn't hurt the tree. But it is home to hundreds of red bugs. Who does not know what a red bug is? Everybody from Canada, raise your hand. <laughs> now y'all never do. Evidently y'all don't have that scourge. Red bugs chiggers. are chiggers. Y'all know what chiggers are? Yeah. Yeah. They're in the mite family. Oh. Little tiny, if you had one walking on your hand, you'd see it and go, what's that? But you wouldn't feel it. They're very small. But one's not gonna get on you. If one gets on you, he's bringing about 14 friends. And they're running straight to your bra, your underwear, and your socks. You won't get one on your cheek. If you're wearing short pants in the summertime, you won't get them on your bare legs. You're gonna get them where the elastic is because they like someplace tight because they use the elastic for leverage. They back up to it and spring off into it. And once they get under your hide, they itch like the dickens. And the quickest way to get them to quit itching once you get into them is paint over where they went in with clear fingernail polish. Seals them up, they smother and die. Well, you can use any color you want. We just use clear so you don't got red dots all over you. If you don't seal them up and they smother and die, you'll scratch them bloody for about three weeks. But if you use the fingernail polish, it'll be open about two, three days. And because of those aggravating varmints, Spanish moss is responsible for the very first automotive recall in U.S. history. Henry Ford buys a plantation in Richmond Hill, looks up and says, huh, it's got to be cheaper than horse hair. <laughs> Starts sending it north by the box loads. And those northern factory workers didn't know nothing about a red bug neither. And they start stuffing the seats of the Model T with raw Spanish moss. And within weeks, people are driving off the showroom floor with that brand new black Model T. Ooga! What in the hell is wrong with these cars? <laughs> Red bugs eating their tails off. <laughs> <laughs> but they called back the seven, fumigated the seats. Once they figured out what the problem was, continued using it. We've used Spanish moss in America for up to 200 years, right up until 1970 to stuff everything and anything that needed a fiber stuffing from mattresses, box springs, furniture, buggy seats, even toys. Who's heard to say in sleep tight? Don't let the bed tight. That started out of sleep tight. Don't let the red bugs bite. Made sure your mama treated the Spanish moss right. In the south, they used to harvest it and boil it. When you boil it, it kills the red bugs and it knocks the hide off of the outside of the moss and leaves behind a very resilient black fiber. If y'all have ever unstuffed an old piece of furniture, and took out what somebody said, oh, that's old horse hair stuff. I know it wasn't. Ten out of ten times what you were pulling out of it was the Spanish moss fiber stuff. Anybody got a shoe brush? That's horse hair. How much fun would it be to lay on that? Horse hair stuff would have been miserable.